is in Christ. That's your person said, Don't be ashamed in my life. And she said, Ah, oh, yeah, I oh, did. Yeah. You know, you, you tell me that stuff and all. But you know what you got to do is praise God. And you think you got to say, I'm going to prove to myself that I'm going to walk with the Lord. Because I saw something tonight that opened my spiritual eyes. It awakened me spiritually. So that I don't have to be dull. I don't have to be in darkness. But I can walk in the light. This is not me. And the devil's going for keeps. Yes, he is. So now that you're saved, you need to walk as a saved person. That means you don't know how to walk saved until you get into the Word of God. And get with your mother, get with your friends, if you come to church, get with us. We're going to teach you a way of life. And to, listen, we got to walk and live in oldness to, to be able to. If I was living a corrupt life, you would not come up here and talk with me with you. No, because I would be living indifferent to what I would be confessing. But the fact is, 36 years ago, they changed my life. And they have changed your life too. Because you don't know what Jesus is going to be. No. He can come as soon as you walk in that door. Walk out that door, Jesus comes. And you go. <laughs> it's that simple. You walk out that door, Jesus comes. You go. You're the creature now. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are best for Behold, all things become new. When you first come up here, we are sitting there like you. And when you receive Christ as your first Savior, repent. It was your Savior's wash, just like that, with the fresh blood of the Lamb of God. God forgave you. Now you've got to know how to walk in His Word. That means you've got to be this. In 2013, you got to be this. you got to be this. That which you put on the other week, and you all put on the other week, was good. But now you've got to know. But it was all about in your heart. Amen. It's got to become a part of you so that you can know what it means to be now in Christ Jesus. Yes. So, this is not this is not a thing. But I want you to know tonight. God loves you very much. He loves you very much. This is the first time I got to meet you, son. Definitely. I think it is. This is your first time. God bless you. Amen. 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 But anyway, you've been here for But anyway, congratulations. Let's give him a good job tonight. Good morning, good morning. And I'm going to have something to do tonight. It's called an insurance, an internal insurance policy. And it looks like this. It's an internal, an internal insurance company. We're going to write your name in here. It's got scripture. We want you to read it for yourself. Anybody, you, you know anything about an insurance policy? When you get an insurance policy, you know about an insurance policy. They put your name on there and everything, and they give you in that insurance policy what, uh, what benefits you have. Well, in this insurance policy, it gives you, uh, gives you to know what's in but it's good sense salvation for you. Read it, take it, and read it. My wife's going to write it. It's signed it. It's signed. You're going to write the name, so you can sign that to sign the name. And uh, read it. Don't just put it down, but read it with your Bible. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. It's the first step. And now it's the next step. I'm just going to walk back. So, yeah. All right, you all may be seated. Praise God. Amen. Let's see that. God bless you. As they be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is wonderful. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you know, this is start. start what, what a wonderful start at the end of the new year. Amen. We're just uh, about five minutes into the new year. Welcome. Bless you in 2013. Hey, I'm going to get used to work tonight. Hey, I'm going to get Praise God. And this is an exciting, exciting, exciting time for the body of Christ and the church of the living God. The blood washed, blood washed, and given the lamp, our light, our, our, our things are written in light, in the book of life. Praise God. And now we're on our way to glory. Shouting the victory. Amen. So thank God for you. Amen. Good to see you all tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, good to be out here. It's good to be here tonight. I 
Hallelujah. He's good. He can't die us of God. Hallelujah. Friends, uh, uh, you know, you are welcome to come back anytime you are that you want to. And we want to teach you the way of salvation. We want to take you into the Holy Scriptures, the Sunday school, teach you for teach you and brief you on the on the, the, the Sunday school lessons and everything of salvation. Because we want you to know there is a lot to salvation. But the number one thing is we say that Jesus Christ is your first and Savior, and the rest of his fall in play as you purpose to follow you. Amen. Also going to come up tonight, and he's going to take us to the commercial service tonight. I'm glad that you all got saved tonight, so that if you desire to come and get your foot warming, foot worship tonight, or any foot worship tonight, it's not something that we can look at and No, it's not what it is. No, it's not. You know, it's not that at all. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not in this thing to, to uh, look at your feet or whatever. We want, we want to not to talk about you. No, and, you know, not to be corn, the barnacle from the sea. No, that's not what it's all about. It's actually, we're going to have the scripture that's going to be read, and then you'll understand Jesus is forced to his disciples' feet. And he did. So we're going to wash your feet tonight. And, uh, uh, we hope this will be a, a, a good lesson to refresh to you a couple of And uh, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm nice to be on this Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We're going to just let you have about a five minute break to use the restroom, refreshing up. And we're going to get set up for our foot washing service, amen, uh, while you're taking your break and uh, get your separation up, using the bathroom. The bathroom is in the lobby. There's one there. There's also bathrooms down the hall here, straight down the hall to your left. There's bathrooms down this way. Uh, if our usher institutes would show our guests where the bathrooms are, if you need to use the bathroom, feel free. We'll reconvene here in five minutes, and I ask that everyone when we come back to take a hold in these first, this first row here, this first row here, this row right here, the first two rows, just come and sit in the first two rows because we're about to move the foot washing down here in front of the altar. Amen? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> 
But in the new year of 16, of 18, excuse me, 1865, he was on the eve of signing the proclamation of freedom. That means that he was on the eve of getting ready to sign a bill into law to free the slaves forever, to abolish slavery. And on that eve, in churches all across the country, the slaves were in their churches waiting to hear the word that President Lincoln had signed the Proclamation of Independence, free the slaves. That is what started the tradition of night watch service in the church today. And it's kept and it's kept going and it's been over for 150 years. Amen. Many good in their history. Amen. They were waiting for a physical freedom. But now we wait for night watch for a spiritual freedom. Hallelujah. Because many times we were bound up. But now God has loosed the chains. The need of all of our lives. He's loosed the bonds of iniquity out of our lives. He's loosed us and given us freedom in Jesus Christ. So we thank God tonight for what He's done in this house tonight. And as we prepare for our foot washing service, which is a symbolic symbol of our partnership with Jesus Christ, it does mean it is very significant. As the bishop was reading, Jesus said, if, you do, if I do not this to you, you have no part with me. Amen. I want to ask that the co-pastors would come, one to my left, one to my right, to assist me tonight. I'm going to ask that the leaders would come. Bishop would be first. Elder would be first would be second. Deacon would be next after Elder Lyle. Followed by, praise God, we need a hand washing for Brother John. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Followed by the bishop, the elder, the deacon. Deacon and Brother John will be the next two. Then we will have Minister Dukes. Mr. McLean will be the next set. Prophetess McLean, praise God. Amen. And then we will have everyone else will follow in line after Prophetess McLean. Amen. Just prepare to go ahead and have your shoes and your socks taken off. Amen. 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 I have in my hand this is olive oil symbolizing the Holy Spirit. It has been very long. I will take some of the olive oil and anoint this oil. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight, Father. Father, we, God, we thank you, Lord God, we, we come before you right now, Father. Sincere, Father. We thank you, God, as for we need God in the sight of there being no other, Father. Father, we lift up your name tonight, Father. We magnify you right now, Father. We glorify your name, Father. In all of your wonderful words, Father, we exalt you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now, Father, for forgiveness of our sins and our iniquities, Father. Oh God, we repent right now, Father, of every unclean thought, every unclean thing, Father, that has been tied to us this year, Father. Father, you have allowed us and blessed us to go forth into a new year, Father. Now, Father, we want to start the new year off with a clean slate, Father. Father, we just ask God to clear our slate, Father, through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Father, we know that Jesus Christ, Father, is your servant, Father. And God, he did not fail, Father, but he did establish and did everything according to what your word says, Father. So, Father, we know by what Isaiah 53 and 5 said, that you were wounded for our transgression. You were bruised for our iniquity, Father. And the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes, God, we were healed. Now, Father, we thank you right now, God, for the remission and repentance of our sins, Father, that we may receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And, Father, we ask that you be with us, Father, and in us, and through us, Father, through your holy word. And, Father, we thank you right now. Bless everyone right now with the sound of my voice, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Everything happened I keep on leaning on the Lord. Everything happened I keep on leaning on the Lord. Everything happened I keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on leaning, keep on leaning, leaning on the Lord. Oh, everything happened I keep on leaning on the Lord. Yeah, everything happened. I keep on leaning on the Lord. Well, you know, everything I do. I keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on leaning. I keep on leaning. Yeah, I keep on leaning on the Lord. Well, you hear this song I sing. I keep on leaning on the Lord. Well, every song I sing. I keep on leaning on the Lord. Yeah, every song I sing. I keep on leaning on the Lord. I keep on, keep on, yeah, keep on. Oh, every prayer I pray, I keep on. Way oh, every prayer I pray, I keep on. Yeah, every prayer I pray, I keep on. Well, I keep on, I keep on, I keep on. Yeah, everywhere I walk. I keep on Yes, everywhere I walk, I keep on thinking. Well, everywhere I go, I keep on I keep on leaning, keep on I keep on I keep on I keep on in the hour, in a Monday, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, on a Friday, on a Saturday. On a Sunday, leaning, leaning, I'm leaning, leaning on the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Thank <laughs> you. 